right guys episode five pitting like the pros i'm going to go through my distance control system what i use to help me control distances so when does chipping become pitching a pitching become long game i'll go through it all right guys so when does chipping become pitching and pitching become long game for me chipping goes up to around the 30 yards for me now the pitching is from 30 to 95 yards and then it starts to become more the long swing so throughout my golfing time i've always been normally grab a 58 from 30 to 95 yards and that's what i use with a clock face system but i was always a bit of a digger is harder to control distance definitely harder to control spin so this new system i've just learned a couple of months ago bit of a game changer uses the bounce a lot more and i use all the wedges throughout the bag so let me go through the system i use and we'll see if it can help you as well so for this we use i've got my three wedges i've got my 54 degree my 50 degree and my pitching wedge so for those now i have three setups for each wedge which gives me three numbers per wedge that's nine distances from 35 to 90 yards so sounds complicated but honestly it's pretty simple so set up one for all the different wedges we go let's move that up we go one club width apart so this is set up one so one for one club width on the back heels apart and then i go down to the bottom of the shaft so we'll use the top the middle the bottom of the shaft what this does instead of forcing myself to be in a clock face position which you've probably heard of a seven nine o'clock ten thirty the actual natural momentum of this swing because of the narrow stance as well you feel a natural finish where i'm not pulling the handle just letting it feel stop so for setup one it actually feels somewhere around the old 730 without having to put it there finishes around 730 and as you go through all these setups you want to match up where your left arm goes here and i feel where my right arm goes just a natural feel i also use my belt buckle release on these so as i mentioned before belt buckle through impact pointing here using that mid bounce so no more digging so set up one okay one club width down the bottom of the shaft this is my 54 degree one that it should natural momentum take me around to the old 730 position release two pitch is really nice pins at the front there is about 55 yards this is about well this is my 40 yard shot 42 yard shot comes out really soft you can see there's no digging use that bounce so again for the 54 you go set up two two club widths middle of the shaft or middle of the grip the natural momentum pivoting also always around the left foot so you stay on the left side but this will take me to around the nine o'clock position here without again really thinking about it so set up two mid grip relax and that's my 50 yard number to 50 yard pin it's pitch 50 yards come out soft you can see from here no divot taken using the bounce whereas before i'd always been a digging in so again set up three we would go three club whips apart on the back heels top of the grip the natural momentum you'll feel once you do this and give yourself a little practice as you take it back you'll feel the natural ending of the backswing instead of thinking got to get to 10 30 9 o'clock the flow the body you'll just do it for yourself so this will actually take me to around the 10 30 position without thinking about it which will be my 60 yard shot really soft mid fly these will come out nice mid flight control again that's gone 60 62 yards if you haven't got a launch monitor obviously you can go to a field put some cones out put some markers out see where your ball lands work on the system so i use this again for my 54 50 pitching wedge get your stock yardages but there are lots of launch monitor sites you've got gc3s trackmans it's well worth just going booking it out for an hour go get these distances once you dial these in your shots are going to come down the short games so again set up one set up two set up three with the three wedges 
belt buckle release make sure your chest is finishing to target there's your stock yardages go pitch like those pros okay guys so you've got your stock yardages you've got your mid flight there are times you're playing into the wind we want to keep this ball lower so all we're going to do pop the ball a little bit back not too far back in the stance don't hit too far down here but just back in the middle and on this one instead of the release belt buckle we're going to use the left hip release little quicker swing bring this flight down still spinning oh, that's nice it's nipped it's hard to control distance with this one so this is just in emergencies when you really got to keep this ball flight down so move the ball back a smidge nippy a swing left hip finish easy chest to target still comes out soft get under that wind easy. right guys so you've got the mid flight we've kept the ball low there's times like here where you've got a front pin there's no wind today so it's not too bad but if you're playing downwind front pin we have to go aerial this is where i would grab my 58 degree and we're going to use release two just getting it going higher if you haven't got a 58 56 you've just got the sand wedge why permitting this is if you've got a bit of grass behind as we spoke to before, you can have a go at using between a belt buckle and a right hip release to really add that loft. But for this one, it's going to go 58. Release two. Super high. Oh, go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh. Again. Still the release belt buckle, still using the bounce, pops up nice and high, a little bit more speed. So you've got the mid, the low, the high, but go work on those stock yardages from 30 to 90 yards, whichever works for you. Your distance will be different, but go and give them a crack. Hi right, guys, from the rough, from the pitching, like the chipping, it's not gonna change too much, but we're just gonna increase the angle of attack to stop the club head getting tangled as much as we can in the rough. Distance aren't going to change too much, but obviously it's going to come out less spin, so you've got to allow for that. If you've got a front pin, that's when you've got to go aerial. But if you've got middle of the green, green to work with, ball goes middle of the stance. We're going to have a little bit of shaffling just to set that wrist a little bit earlier so we can get a bit steeper. So a little shaffling, angle of attack, and just let it pop out. Still comes out really soft. So rough, no problems. Slightly more steeper of attack. You know it's going to come out a little bit softer, but we can still get a bit of spin on there. Little shaffling. Little steeper attack. Cut through that grass. Still comes out soft, pitch really nicely. There you go, you've got middle flight, low flight, high flight. You can play from the rough. You can pitch like the pros now. Just go and practice, guys. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode of Short Game Scratch Tips. Let me know in the comments below if you've been away. Give it a little try for yourself. Has it worked for you? It's definitely improved my pitching game. I'm definitely not digging the club as much. I'm using that bounce a lot more, controlling the distance and the spin. Hope it works for you as well, but again, let me know. Right, guys, hope you're enjoying this series. Until next episode, ciao.